Good morning and welcome back to a day in my life. Today is supposed to be a beautiful, sunny, early spring day with a high of 77. I didn't feel like working out this morning, so I kind of just took my time and did some things that I've been wanting to get done before I started my day. Ben and I just got back from a trip to Myrtle Beach to spend time with his family and it was such a nice time to be away and see everybody. My parents stayed at our apartment and they took care of Milo and they left a beautiful bouquet of flowers. I noticed it needed a little love so I snipped off any wilting leaves and cut the ends just to give it some new life and I think that's just what it needed. After going through a morning routine, I took care of my plants and it was time to sit down at my desk and get to work. I answered some emails, did some Instagram stuff and enjoyed the morning sun coming in from the window. Now that the time has changed, I get the sun until about midday, which I am so grateful for. It really does help me stay motivated throughout the workday. And I made a very colorful breakfast. I'm doing a real quick and easy makeup this morning. I'm about to go take Milo for a nice walk. It is such a beautiful day out. It is, I think, gonna be like 70 degrees, which is insane. Flowers are blooming and it is just so glorious. I love this, it gives me life. I wanted to give you an update on the Ilia Super Skin Tint. I have actually been applying it with my hands. I know in the beginning I said I am never gonna apply the foundation with my hands because I don't wanna transfer any acne, but it actually applies a lot better than a sponge. I feel like the sponge soaks it all up. My hands are washed and clean. I plan on being outside today. I'm gonna do all of my work outside. Ben and I got home from Myrtle Beach a few days ago and my skin does not like when I travel. It absolutely flares up so much. So I do have a few things popping up. I am also leaving town to go see my friend in Cleveland. I'm so excited to see her. This is my first time in Ohio, Cleveland especially. My mom actually went to school there and she's always told me about it, but I'm going to see one of my internet friends. I'm so excited. So I am gonna be traveling a little more. My skin's probably gonna hate me by the end of it. I'm convinced it is my filter, my filter baby on my sink because anytime I travel, even when I'm home in New Jersey, my skin just breaks out immediately and I really think it's the water that I'm using on my skin. That is definitely my strong feeling about my filter baby. So I love that thing so much. And what I love about this is because it's so light, I really don't even need blush or bronzer or contour. I can just kind of let it be natural and my skin shines through. Then I'm gonna go in with my Kosas Clear Brow Gel. This thing is my favorite. I definitely need to do my brows before I go. I don't normally get them done. I usually just pluck them myself. I love the look of the natural feathered brow and this just helps to like kind of like keep it all day. I always have to have mascara. I'm doing the Lily Lolo mascara. You're gonna be low maintenance. I have lots of stuff to do before I leave. I need to pack and I wanted to show you some of my non-toxic things that I bring. I feel like when you travel, the things that you bring are the necessities that you like absolutely need. Really shows what products you love, love because you can't live without them. That is my makeup for today. I don't think I'm gonna do my hair. I think I'm just gonna leave it, leave it natural. I was so ready for his walk. Okay, one more thing before we go on a walk. I just got this discovery set in from Santa Jarden. I've been reaching out to brands to see if I can kind of trial their perfumes for my wedding and share that with you guys. I've already tested out Henry Rose and you guys know I love by Rosie Jane. I wanna like wear it around the house today and see if I like it. I love their packaging, the orange and the pink. I just love this color combination. I'm gonna go for the vanilla because I'm a vanilla girl. That would be Vanilla Nomad. So we're gonna try that one today. If you guys wanna see my full review, me trying on every scent, then definitely head to my TikTok where I'm kind of continuing that series. I love the smell of vanilla. That is super nice. I love it already. Okay, well, we'll see how that wears. I'm excited to try more of these out. It is just such a beautiful day. It is supposed to be a high of 77 today, which is actually insane. So many flowers popping up from the ground. It just gives me so much joy. I don't know what it is. The warm weather, the flowers, the color, just such a contrast from like a cold 
gloomy winter. I am really hot too. I feel like when you first step out, it kind of feels like when you're in a pool and the water is just so warm that you don't even feel it. I feel like that's the air right now. It's not cold, it's not hot. It's just the perfect temperature to just go for a walk. So we had a really great walk. I think I'm going to try and spend the rest of the day outside as much as possible and leave all of my packing and stuff for later in the day. So I think I'm gonna go on the roof and bring my laptop, bring my phone, do some work and just enjoy the weather. I know Cleveland's definitely not gonna be as warm as it is today. I put on a tube top because I am trying my very hardest not to get tan lines because of my wedding. Uh, so far I've failed. Uh, when we were in Myrtle Beach, I had straps on maybe for like 10 minutes and now I have a tan line and I got sunburned. So that's not helping. We need to even this out. Here's my outfit. My shorts are from Amazon. They're just like a super cute running short. I love that they have pockets on either side because I could put my phone in here and my keys when I'm walk Milo and I'm just hands free, which is so good. This top is from OGL Move. My sunnies are Ray-Bans. Jewelry is all Brian Anthony. I feel so ready to enjoy and soak up the sun. I just know I'm gonna be hungry when I get up there. I'm packing a chomp beef stick. Love these, this is the jalapeno flavor. It's not like too spicy. And then I've been making some homemade trail mix, organic raisins, almonds, and walnuts from Trader Joe's, and then also their chocolate chips. This satisfies me so well with my sweet tooth, also getting some good fats with the almonds and the nuts and some protein, and it just makes a really good snack. It also holds me over um, in between like lunch and dinner. I'm gonna bring my water up. I'm not feeling the best, and I'm trying to like hope that I'm not gonna get sick. Actually, I'm gonna spray some more vitamins. I really hope that I don't get sick before this trip because I wanna make it through and then maybe get home and get sick, but I am gonna spray some immune spray. This is by Spectra Spray. It's actually my mom's company. She has a spray vitamin line and this immune spray, I swear by it. We will spray this when we're sick, before we feel like we're getting sick. I spray it like directly on my throat if I feel like I have a sore throat and I swear it does something. And hopefully this can help. It has vitamin C, E, zinc, and lysine. So some really good vitamins for having a strong immune system. I think I'm also gonna do some hydration. My nectar, I tried their lemon flavor and it's actually really good. It's super refreshing. It literally tastes like a lemon water, which you know what? I think I'm actually gonna do that one right now. I brought this on our trip to Myrtle Beach and it was so nice to have. Still on my dry January kick, even though it's March, I would kind of mix it with a seltzer, like a regular just seltzer, and it would kind of keep me from wanting to like grab a drink. And also it's hydrating, so great for the beach, warm weather, and just like lots of activities. Also great for like a midday slump, so it was perfect. I do eventually need to eat something real. My breakfast was kind of small. I do need to go grocery shopping, so that's really why I haven't to mix this. It's really why I'm just snacking. I am prolonging going to the grocery store. I might go later, but it is a beautiful day. I could go. Super refreshing. That's good. I'm bringing my book. I'm finishing this. I'm not leaving the rooftop until I finish this book today. So far, so good. I can't even say that because I have like a few more pages left. It's really good. And I, with this author, I'm like assuming there's gonna be a huge turn. So expecting that, but this will be a good read. I am bringing a little notepad. When I'm reading and just like doing things that are mindless, I end up just like having lots of creative ideas and thoughts. So I'm gonna bring a notepad, just write things down. If anything comes to mind, then my laptop, of course, and do some work and my snack and we're good to go. I should also put on some sunscreen. I don't have my favorite sunscreen. I need to repurchase for the summer season. It's the Beauty by Earth sunscreen. It's, it smells so good. It smells like coconut and vanilla, I think the flavors are, the scents. But right now I'm just using the 100% Pure Everywhere 30 SPF stick. This, honestly, it just doesn't blend well, so I don't love it. Oh, I don't want to get my necklace. I don't love it as much, but we need some protection. I don't want to get sunburned.
getting to packing and I've laid out all of my outfits. I think I'm on the right track. I'm kind of using what I have to create some kind of more spring cooler weather outfits, just kind of layering things. Lauren said to bring some layers. So if I'm cold, I can layer up. If it's warmer, I can take things off, but still look springy and not give cold winter weather. All right, here's what we're working with. I feel like I have a good palette going, playing lots of pinks and purples, keeping some neutral bases. This is definitely a good colored capsule wardrobe. So I'm definitely bringing a pair of my cargos. I feel like these just kind of elevate any look and are just different from a pair of jeans. I have my go-to pair of flare jeans and then I have a white pair of jeans. So those are my three bottom options. I'm also bringing two sets of active wear. I know we're probably gonna work out together. So I have those if I wanted to put leggings underneath, I can. And then I'm also bringing my Cezanne basic tops as well as my organic basics. These are just like kind of short cropped tees. One white long sleeve that I can layer underneath if it's a little bit chillier. And then I have these three sweaters that I can interchange. My denim jacket I feel like is gonna come in handy if I need to layer on top of this. I'm also bringing this pink tank. Together you can almost mix and match any of those together. The last day when I'm leaving, I'm gonna wanna be comfy, especially getting on the plane. So I'm gonna wear the jumpsuit and I can even throw one of these sweaters over it or even my jacket. And then I'm also bringing this rose bodysuit. This is part of my fashion pass rental for the month. And I really, really wanna style this and take some photos in it. I'm bringing that with me. They're just like really cute roses. I actually wore it last night for our dinner. And then I'm gonna bring this bag. I usually always read for my black neutral bag, but if I only bring this one, I have to use it. So I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. Not really, it will match all my outfits. And that is what I'm bringing. Our Trader Joe's finally had these. I've been seeing them all over TikTok. I can't wait to try it. I got two just in case. And I got my favorite pupusas. I kinda wanna try it. I'm gonna try one of these. I can't get no hi. Cut the corner this. And I think you're supposed to like chill it. I got some snack for my flight tomorrow. Lately I've been craving like chewy gummies, which is so bad, but I'm trying the Trader Joe's Scandinavian Swimmers. I'm gonna try one right now, actually. Sweet tooth. Hmm. It's giving Swedish fish, and I love Swedish fish. That makes sense, Scandinavian Swimmers. And then I also got some more chomps, love these. And I'm also gonna make another batch of my of my trail mix to have on the plane. Let's try this. I heated it up. I am gonna put it in the fridge and cool it down for the rest of them, but I wanna try one warm at least. Do you wanna try, Benny? Here's what it looks like. A bit of soy sauce. It's really flavorful. It's definitely not like fish sushi, but it's good. I feel like I'd wanna add wasabi and maybe like some cream cheese in there. I'm gonna do one more before I put it in the fridge. Basically just like veggies in a roll. Let's say it's a pretty good snack too. I mean, it's got some not great ingredients, but Korean tofu, vegetable seaweed, right? This carrot, pickled radish, burdock root, tofu, rice, sesame seeds. We just went to Trader Joe's and it's a complete free-for-all for dinner. I was craving like a really full sandwich, so I made a turkey sandwich. So good. I'm gonna make a quick batch of my trail mix, some almonds. I'm gonna put it in this little container. And I have some walnuts. I'm typically not a walnut girl, but I will eat them. They are in my dates like I did this morning or this trail mix, I actually don't mind them. I think they're just too too dry and I don't like the texture just alone. I love the combination of the sweet and salty. I'm gonna do the Trader Joe's organic seedless raisins. Trader Joe's semi-sweet chocolate chips. They're gluten-free and dairy-free. Oh my gosh, my don't know. Mommy spilled the chocolate chips everywhere. Okay, back to what I was doing for my trip. 
I wanted to show you what I'm packing for my trip. So I usually like to pack all my stuff in my little Vera Bradley thing. It kind of like rolls up and I'll just put this in my personal item, my personal bag. Here's what we got. For skincare, I am gonna put some of this, is the Marie Veronique Treatment Cleanser, into this glass jar that I saved from another product a while back, but it's a perfect glass jar. So we're gonna put some of that in there since this is I wish they would make travel size. I don't think they do, but this is four fluid ounces. Then I'm gonna bring my Beauty by Earth Hyaluronic Acid Serum, as well as my Marie Veronique Treatment Serum. And then I can also bring my Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk because it's two fluid ounces. That's really it for skincare. I have my moisturizer, I have like an acne spot treatment and a cleanser. And then for makeup, keeping it simple. So of course my Ilia Skin Tint, OG Contour Stick, 100% pure, Fruit Pigmented Cherry Blush, Lily Lola Mascara, my Kosas Brow Gel, 100% Pure Lip Tint, Beach Blini. You've seen me use these products before. I'm also gonna bring, I don't have my travel size rise ball, like toothpaste and mouthwash, although we did not, we brought this to Myrtle Beach and did not get stopped from it. I think I might end up just bringing the full size. Then I have a little mini rise ball floss that I'm gonna bring, my EOS lip balm, and lastly, I'm bringing my Henry Rose Dark as Night sample. And yeah, I'm gonna bring my handy tandy headband, of course. I actually, I really wanna get one of these in like a pink springy color. Honestly, that's like my core routine for skin. I'm not really leaving anything out. Although, I lied. I am leaving out my Coco Kind Rose Water Toner just because it's a little bit over the 3.4 fluid ounces. I'm also not able to bring my Inner Sense hairspray, but they do make travel size i believe i am kind of really tired and i really just want to like finish packing i'm going to take an everything shower and just get refreshed and probably go to bed early i hope you enjoyed this little vlog i will see you in my next one